Hi guys, this is going to be from my Leos and this is going to be from the 4th through the 10th of December. I would also like to let you know that I'll be going live tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you'd like to get to know me better, please join me. You can ask me questions, providing they're respectful, kind, and loving. We're here to raise each other up, not tear each other down. So if you'd like to join me, you can ask me any question. I will be open and honest with you. So this is going to be for my Leos. Or not. <laughs> no, I'm playing. And the scratching noise is my little dog I'm taking care of. Little Chihuahua. Goes home tomorrow night. So Leo, this is for you. The devil, you're reaching for something and you can't get it. You're all tied up inside, aren't you? You can't get out from inside here. The king of swords. Possible communication. Are you thinking about communicating, but you can't communicate for some reason? This is the air energy. A lot of times they mean communication. Um, they, or they could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius that's in your environment. The two of pentacles, you feel a little off balance where finances are concerned. You might be a lot unbalanced here. You want to go somewhere. But you're not able to do it right now. Financially, you're not able to. The Eight of Pentacles. You're working on something, though. This is you. Leo, you're very hard-headed. You're working. You're never, you don't ever give up. You don't ever give up. But you see, you have the mindset of lack. With this mindset... Nothing will move forward. You will feel off balance and you won't be able to reach where you're going. You have to come out of your head. Okay, you got to get out of there and open up your heart. When you do that, the Ten of Cups, happy family, divine love, harmony, peace. The Four of Pentacles. You'll become balanced where finances are concerned. But also, you might become a little stingy. Don't be like that. Be wise with your money, yes. This is the Ace of Swords. Once you get this, I mean, you, you want to get this money here. You want to get stability because you want to communicate. You want to communicate with something, someone. But you can't see things clearly. That's the moon.
because you're all tied up. So let's see if we can clarify here. Page of Cups. You're trying your hand at some kind of creative opportunities. You're trying to get some messages. You're dreaming. There may be new love on the horizon, but you see you're not going to reach any of that. Because you're tied up inside. There's so much waiting for you. <clears throat> you are the lovers. So much waiting for you. Love, harmony, collaboration. The three of pentacles. The universe has a hand in this. This is something the universe is trying to take care of. But Leo, you got to do a little bit too. You got to get out of your head. You got to maybe be humble. You know? So let's see. The King of Swords. Hmm. I think you're the one that has to make this decision about the communication. But because you're so tied up inside, I don't think it's going to be possible. But you're still planning. You're still planning and you want to travel. You want to go somewhere. You want to go towards your happiness. You got to get out from inside. You want marriage. Or some contract. This communication you want really badly. Let's see the two of pentacles. And the Queen of Swords. This is an air energy. This is a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. she the one you want to communicate to? She has very clear um, boundaries. And she has a lot of direct communication. She's also very fair. And very forgiving. Cause and effect. You will hear her. If this is your situation, you will hear. They're going to tell you the truth about something. You're going to hear the truth about something. And it might prepare you to move forward. Let's see. The Eight of Pentacles. What are you working on? get out of this situation or to break this whatever it is you're in hmm. you're resting you're in meditation deep contemplation the four swords you're planning for the future but you don't know when that is, do you? You need to be patient. You need to get some balance. You need some balance. 
Okay. Balance. And this is you. Full of courage and strength. You have a lot of strength. A lot of passion within you, Leo. A lot. You're really a beautiful person. I should say beautiful energy. My Leos. Five of pentacles. Oh. Yeah. The four cups. You are in meditation. You, you're thinking very deeply about this, whatever this situation. You're reevaluating everything that's going on or went on. You're looking at it. You're stepping back here and you're looking at everything right now. The high priestess. You need to use your intuition. Follow your intuition. It's not going to lead you wrong. Tap into it. That's the divine feminine in you. Both my masculines and feminines. You hear me? And you will have new beginnings. The fool. And happy family. But you got to get out of your head, Leo. You can have all you desire. Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of, I'm sorry, the Ten of, on top of the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups came. Your wishes will come true. You just need to believe in yourself and have faith in you. And you do want to communicate. Here's the King of Swords again. You're going to have some mental clarity and someone is going to be extremely honest with you. This is an air energy, okay? Or it could be you. Or someone is going to give you some advice. You need to take the advice. Totally up to you, though. I can't tell you what to do. We have free will. The Page of Pentacles, manifestations reflect and reflections on financial opportunities. You're desiring... Financial opportunities right now. Get out of your head. Open your heart. Balance your emotions. Balance yourself. And you shall see. You shall be able to see the things you need to see. Four of Pentacles. On top of the four of pentacles, the two of pentacles. Hmm, you got a lot of things you're doing at one time. So you need to prioritize things. You're negotiating something. Maybe a business deal that has to do something with money. And it's coming fast, okay? It's coming very fast for you. You are the magician right now. Anything you touch, you can do. Anything you put your mind to, you can accomplish. You're going to start acting on it. You're really amazing people. <laughs> Energies. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's, it's kind of hard to get out of, of the normal or the regular way or whatever the normal way, the way we were taught to, to say things, you know. Oh, my. So let's see. The Ace of Swords. This communication worrying you, huh? Keeping you up at night. Can't sleep, can't rest, can't eat. The seven of pentacles, though. You're watching something grow. You planted some kind of seed. And the world card. Something is going to come to completion for you or something is coming full circle. There is a lot of potential. You have many options, man. 
For some reason, you're not seeing things clearly. Why? Because, because you're so stubborn. Stubborn. I got the emperor here. You're grounded, well-respected, you know, the whole nine yards. You're focused, but you're stubborn. You're hard-headed. But something is coming really fast for you. A chariot. You're going to have victory. You need to be careful who you tell things to. Keep some of your secrets. Not all of your friends are your friends. Betrayal. Deception. You're going to look back. You're going to think of the past. And you're going to think of an instance. An instance. Probably where you thought there was betrayal. You're going to reevaluate everything. This has a lot to do with emotions as well as money. Love and money. And, you know, a lot of times that's what we're all interested in. But it looks like you, you're you going to do it. You're going to pull your inner strength and you can get it together. Okay? You can do this. I believe in you. So you better start believing in you. I love you guys and I thank you. And don't forget, if you want to come and hang out with me a little bit, please feel free. I love you. Take care of yourself. And hopefully see you tomorrow. But if not, it doesn't matter. Thank you for spending time with me anyway. Bye.